Afternoon folks, welcome to another little video. It's bright and breezy bank holiday here in the UK. Happy Easter if uh, that's your thing and you're celebrating. And uh, I feel like I'm riding a new bike even though I'm on my trusty old or year old Boardman SLR 8.9. Uh, it's got a new set of tyres on it today. And I'm now running after a little bit of a faff which I'll explain shortly. Some Schwalbe Marathon uh, plus tyres I think they're called and uh, in this little video I'm just going to explain why I've put them on and why for me these are probably the best tyres that I've ever used on my bikes over the years. Oh, I've just passed Summit and I'm just heading down the main valley road into Walton, Tobberden, Hebden Bridge Got no route to punch into my computer today, so just gonna see how it goes. Got a headwind all the way, fairly brisk. Actually, uh, it's quite welcome on some of the little hills. It's a deceptive little pull up to uh, Summit from Watchdale a little bit away. It's not steep at all, maybe 1%, 1 1.5, 2.5%. It's quite long and uh, you feel like you should be going faster than you are and then you realise it is a bit of an incline so yeah a little flat and downhill now very welcome it's passing Gordon Rigg Garden Centre that's doing a roaring trade today and the ice cream van parked outside. Well, there's always something going on in Todmorden. It's a great place. A bit no frill, some might say. A bit rough around the edges, some might say, but that's all right with me. And onwards to Hebden Bridge, which you might say is the kind of the richer, slightly posher, more sophisticated cousin of Todmorden. I wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway. It's on the climb out of Hedwin Bridge now and it's a bugger but it's stunning That's the top of the hill and I'm very happy about that. 
because I'm ready for some downhill now. But what a place to be on a bank holiday weekend. From humble beginnings, mixing up with the traffic down in the valley, to what feels like the top of the world. Not a lot of traffic. People have got where they're going today, I think. And 1,165 feet up in the Pennines. The sun is shining. Legs don't feel too bad. And honestly, there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be right now. Happy days. Behind me is the Calder Valley. Looking into North Peaks, I suppose. North Peak District. Excuse me, not the peaks. And then out to my left is the West Pennine Moors, Trofa Boland, amazing cycling territory. And then when I get just to the top of this hill, I'll be looking down into West Yorkshire, gateway to the Yorkshire Dales, otherwise known as cycling paradise, frankly. Wow. It's a strong old headwind, but it's going to make for a fast return leg, hopefully. And if that sends anything to go by, that is going to be one fast bomb downhill. Good job I got the new tyres on, eh? Oh. How about that for a view? Absolutely amazing. All the way into the Oxydales. Beautiful. Oh. So why did I um, change my tyres? Why did I go with Schwalbe's? Noisy buggers. Um, well, for the simple reason that the last time I took the Baldwin out, which was a couple of days ago, first ride of the year, uh, I got two flat tyres on the ride. And I've never had a flat tyre, weirdly, ever before on a road bike and one of the reasons I think is that I have a habit of as soon as I buy a road bike as soon as I get a new road bike I just go and buy some Schwalbe Marathon or Marathon Plus tyres put them on the bike and then I pretty much forget about punctures because they just seem to be absolutely bomb proof and um, in a fit of frustration the other night for ruining my evening ride what was going to be my first really nice light nice weather evening ride of the year um, in a fit of frustration I just went on to Wiggle which is a store here in the UK ordered some trailbies and um, yesterday was it yesterday the day before they arrived and this morning I just thought I'll bung them on and uh, take them out and just sort of try and remind myself what it's like to ride not worrying about um, getting punctures and uh, sure enough the ride today has been absolutely perfect um, they give me a lot more assurance as well I think they have a much more aggressive rugged um, tread than your sort of typical road bikes um, I absolutely love road bikes but I've never really got my head around just how thin and flimsy the tyres are
as I said, what I tend to do on most of my bikes is, as soon as I get them, I just stick Schwalbe Marathon tyres on um, and then forget about punctures or tyres blowing out. So the uh, Schwalbe Marathon uh, Plus tyres have a really thick sort of protective layer on the inside rim and uh, I think the idea being that if something does penetrate the tyre, it doesn't necessarily get through that protective layer. Uh, and get at you in a tube and I mean again all I can say from experience is that it genuinely seems to be the case a uh, lot of the roads where that I ride on I'd say probably the quality is average to poor um, tyres do get a beating around these kind of Pennine roads and uh, for me again it's just about having that extra assurance that my tyres are not going to puncture or blow out um, there are some wicked descents up on these Pennine hills and if you've seen some of my other videos um, you know one or two I've tried to capture uh, some of those descents uh, and again just glancing down at your tyres when you're doing 40, 45 miles an hour uh, downhill um, I quite like to glance down and know that I'm um, riding slightly more bomb proof tyres than, than some of the flimsy tyres that you do get on road bikes I'm sure they're fine and you know it's probably just me but that being said um, you want to go with the tyres that give you uh, reassurance don't you um, I do know you lose a bit of performance because it's a more aggressive tread and not quite as slick and not quite as fast rolling but if I'm being honest um, you know I'd get more of a performance edge from losing the 15 kilos I've got around my waistline <laughs> than I would uh, going with super thin super slick uh, tyres so yeah I mean the ride today has just reminded me why over the years I've always done this um, I've got a lot of assurance bombing down the hills, um, the grip and the handling is great. I think they look cool. Uh, the little sidewalls aren't everybody's thing but um, they go really nicely with the bike and for me yeah, it's just a, a no-brainer. I can't believe it's taken me a year to stick them on. Right, I've got to go up over that big hill on the horizon and then start heading home. About another 25 miles to get back. Thank you so much for watching this little video to the end. Uh, if you might consider liking and subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate that, it really helps me out. Otherwise, stay safe, take care, and happy cycling. Bye.